Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So up here we have Jason Kokrak, winner this past week on the PGA Tour, playing very good golf, coming up a coming off a tied for 17th at the U.S. Open. You know, this guy's just keep knocking on the door, knocking on the door. Finally, it opened for him this past week, and good for him. Up to number 26 in the world, very quietly, but very impressive player. Wanted to show you his swing. I've been wanting to show it for a while, but was waiting for him to do something because I've been a fan of his uh, for quite some time. First saw him on the Nationwide at the time. Now, the Corn Ferry Tour in 2012, I was talking to him on the range. I was working with some players out there, and I said, Wow, you have pretty good action. I think you're going to do well. He said, I hope so. I remember saying that to Davis Love in 1986 when I carried on tour. Maybe I'm a prophet. Who knows? But Davis Love, very good career too. Caddy for him in his first tour event, Phoenix Open, 86. Okay, so let's look at him. Tall guy. I think he's 6'4". Very nice setup. Arms hang down. Very traditional kind of look there. You can see his aim to the right. I put some lines there up there on the right. That's kind of where he's aimed, so you can see the green. This is going to be a draw shot, or he hopes so, right? So let's take him into motion. Something you'll notice right away as he takes it back. I, I don't see this. Look at his thumb there. His right thumb actually comes off the grip. That's pretty wild, isn't it? <laughs> and then he kind of places it back on somewhere up here, which is important because you want the support of your thumbs, especially at the top of the, at the uh, swing. So club outside the hands, about 1 o'clock or so. Right, pretty traditional right there. Very still head, you know, fairly upright position here. Right, and a very nice turn, very stable kind of look right here. Got that interlock grip. A lot of guys have that. Always kind of surprised me. I thought overlap would be more important. Kind of, you know, getting a little bit more angle of spine angle here, isn't he, as he goes back, dipping a little bit. But a very nice position at the top right in here, very flat. Uh, left wrist, nice swing plane, pretty traditional, right? Right elbow on that swing plane. And he has some depth in his right hip back into that line. So, you know, no lifting there of his lower body, slight straightening of his right leg. We'll talk about that sometime. You see that generally some straightening of, straightening of the right leg, no problem at all in my mind. Um, so just nice position right here. Then he's going to get this club really flattened down. So he's going to go, and I don't see this much, you know, this dropping down sort of under the shaft line plane. But this is draw bias. This is a good image for you all if you are looking to draw the ball. Kind of swinging out to right field in a sense, right? As you can see where that the, the butt end of his club is pointing out to the right. Uh, that's a great image, you know, if you want to draw the ball. Because, again, that's what most people want. And club face, close the path, draw city. Um, compression with his head, coming into the hitting area. Nice hip rotation, probably tore average in the 36 range right there. Some relief release of his right foot, right elbow to his side. Very nice position here. And you're going to see with the club coming from the inside, you're going to see a fair amount of face rotation, What really doesn't surprise me um, as he likes to draw the ball. And you can see the club turning over right there, kind of that toe-up position right here. And then over here, you can see the face kind of pointing down. Now, another good image for you, too, if you draw the ball. I work with my students a lot on half swings, getting some form rotation. Um, hopefully, that becomes natural as you keep a light grip and you have a proper grip. But that's a position I'll work on with people that I think is uh, fairly important right there. And then up on the right toe. So, very nice swing for Jason. You look at his stats, very long hitter, very good putter. Um, not particularly good anywhere else. But the other one that's really low is scoring average which is the bottom line, right? So scoring is very important. So what can you learn from Jason? I would say a couple things. Keep knocking on that door. Stay with it. Stay patient. I think the hardest thing for uh, as a teacher, hey, just stay with it. Keep at it. Keep it simple. Have some fun. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. We always love hearing from you. If you're on YouTube, thank you for subscribing. Love if you, if you haven't done so. Hey, do that. Hit subscribe. Share it with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. We always love that. Come see us at the Jersey Devil Golf Range out there in beautiful Winslow, New Jersey. And for more information, check out Facebook, Gary Pates Golf Academy. Anything we can do for you, don't hesitate to reach out. And we'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.